Hey everybody and welcome to Stockability. This is an honest review of, you know, those option trade alert services and SMS text and all that kind of stuff that tries to push you to go and buy a membership, whether it's weekly, monthly, so on and so forth. Relatively speaking, they don't work out that great and I'll tell you why in this video. So make sure to watch the whole video, comment below your own input on experiences with these kind of trade alert services. And we're going to get right into it here, but don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You know, there's a lot of services that go around, you know, online touting big returns, so on and so forth. Lots of fun courses, lots of stuff like that. But the ultimate answer to all that is that the reason that they're selling the course is because they're not doing so hot themselves. The reason they're selling that alert service is because they're not doing that hot themselves. They're trying to basically motivate you to join and, you know, get involved in that hype. Whatever. If you see a lot of positive reviews, you know, that's not always a good sign, especially on these bigger platforms that buy up tons and tons of advertising. But, the you know, relatively speaking, there are ones that kind of prove that they're at least legitimately trading that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get anywhere near the same results. And the reason places like this do so well is they kind of put out a little bit of a delayed response in regards to the trade as versus, you know, you, the person that's following said alert and reacting to it. And this guy kind of covers it well. I'm not saying that, you know, warrior trading in particular does this, but he summarizes it well that essentially they do delays on the videos they do delays on the trading so that when you're reacting you're reacting to a person that's planning on essentially selling on you you know so of course they're gonna make profits because they're selling that aspect to you they're selling that hope to you that you're gonna you know get in and chase this momentum and so on and so forth but if you, you're you familiar with that uh, buy the rumor and sell the news concept that you're essentially buying into the hype after the hype's already there. So you're already chasing. You're not really learning. You're ultimately going to probably lose more than you win. And now, ultimately, a lot of what people tend to do with these alert services, they simply inverse the person because often a lot of what these websites do is they try to get you to buy in while they're selling. So if you're doing the inverse, you can have success in that regard. But the short answer is the questionable legitimacy of how they do this. You know, basically a pump and dump scheme is completely illegal. Whether warrior trading is doing this, not so much. But he, this guy breaks it down here, essentially, that they pump it and then they get people excited and then they dump it as it's, you know, <laughs> as they already are selling. So a lot of people are left holding bags, essentially, and then they charge membership fees for that. The cost is basically quite substantial. Obviously, a lot of these places put claims that, you know, they're not financially responsible, so on and so forth. They have no what have you, no guidelines or anything that they're suggesting you make these trades, so on and so forth. You know, they often don't even have FINRA licensing and all that. I'll get into that in a little bit here. But, you know, the other thing you want to look for is that if a website has multiple past websites, all right, uh, X Trades is a good example. X Trades had an enhanced investor, and Ascend Trading was potentially associated with them. So they had three different variations of the same thing, and each time when the you know the volatility or the you know people were questioning the legitimacy of that with a, with their alerting systems, where one of their streamers is so consistently wrong, whether that's gonna you know impact them in regards to their website and their brand. They also utilize, they tend to utilize kind of broad names or utilize fame of someone else and claim that that's the person running the website, you know, so utilizing that name and then you go and Google and you say, well, look at all these positive reviews. It's sort of like those, those Oprah Winfrey or the other uh, scams that have been going around on the internet where they use a brand name or they use a company even with technical support scams, they use a well-known company like Microsoft or a well-known company like Apple, and they claim that, that they're representing that company. And in, in pretty much all the cases, that is not the case. 
you can also tell by their obscene cost, you know, just for, uh, you know, $38 a, a month and you get access to entry and exit alerts. And, you know, as a lot of this is fishy kind of stuff. Once again, allegedly not claiming anything in regards to the quality of these websites, but you know, that's up to you to make that decision. But a lot of them run the same. I just wanted to show you guys here quick while I zoom out. You know, enhanced events there redirects to xtrades.net, so they are clearly direct ownership there. Just in case anyone wanted to question that, they brought that up in another video. They even claim here they have a 70% win rate. That's a pretty terrible percentage of a win rate, considering, and they also offer a referral system. A lot of these places do this kind of thing to incentivize people to continue marketing their trade service because a lot of people are making more money on the trading service than the actual alerts in the website and they get heavily <laughs> incentivized here's another one here that something you want to avoid not saying once again allegedly that upside trades is bad or good but when you have you know a website in your front end of your website is basically it looks like someone drew this in notepad and they're claiming that this is their proof of their legitimacy it brings the question you know what is this what's really going on uh, you know you can find this quickly through a quick search and trade alerts and it comes right up they're buying ads in this and this is the, you know this is their hype page you know it's kind of hilarious to me and i hope that no one's really believing in these kind of things but ultimately in the end if they weren't these kind of places would not exist other thing to look out for once again I'm not saying upside trades is legitimate or not legitimate but you get reviews like this that seem to come off like they're writing a pitch rather than writing a review this isn't something that like a normal person would say that they say Every trade that they list on their website is actually a complete a trade that was recommended in real time. See, they're using specific keywords to try to garner results on Google, so on and so forth. I know this because I have received every one since January 1st, 2020. No BS. Long only trade. See, they're stuffing, keyword stuffing to try to rank better to get more exposure to this. Another thing to look out for is, uh, you know, on these kind of websites that are doing reviews, this guy has two reviews, you know, you want someone that has a more established scenario than two reviews. This one has two reviews. This one has one review. The literally the only review that they've written is on upside trades. You want people that have a little bit more of established credibility to be reviewing these kind of websites. That alone kind of speaks for itself in the uh, questionable authenticity of said websites once again, not bashing upside trades. They're just the first one that came up. But you want reviews and more of an established kind of reputation. Ultimately, a lot of these people really don't give that. And as I mentioned earlier, the reason a lot of places charge for the trade alert services is because they're often not making profit themselves. And so they charge a membership to utilize to go with their, you know, their gambling addiction, what have you, to try to grow that. Uh, another thing you want to look for, once again, not bashing upside trades, not bashing X trades or warrior trading or any other ones that I've mentioned in this video, but a simple broker check can verify whether the company is legitimate or whether they're operating legitimately. In warrior trading's case, they operate through a third party broker. It's called Lightspeed Trading. So they. It, through at least from the legitimate standpoint, Warrior Trading is actually offering uh, what's legally considered a legitimate service. Uh, what they do and how they operate, that's really up to you to determine that legitimacy on that end of things. Once again, not bashing any of these particular companies, not stating that any of these particular companies are partaking in these kind of activities. But this is generally the standpoint that they do. They essentially use a broad name. They tend to use a website that's an LLC, but they don't really have any FINRA licensing. They don't really have any connection to any broker. They don't really have any verified financial statements proving these kind of statements that they're making, where they're making hundreds of percent or thousands of percent and so on and so forth. But, uh, you know, ultimately, if you want to break free from this kind of chain, 
you want to kind of learn on your own. You want to use the software. You want to use something that's actually pushing out sweeps and pushing out other things in regards to not so much an alert, but literally showing you what big money is doing. And that comes to basically the end of this video where I'd personally recommend uh, Trade UI. Trade UI doesn't give out alerts at any to any real degree you can set up an alerting system but this is based on literal data a lot of places don't use literal data they used an analyst that makes determinations on their own opinions this is literal uh, you know artificial intelligence pushing out sweep setups it's pushing out unusual flow setups you know a lot of these things that are coming out and it shows it right live. You know, this isn't like uh, delayed data. This is real time data of actual sweeps and actual money being spent. You know, you can set it up for earnings. You could set it up for a lot of variations of a lot of different things. If you guys want to check that out, I will link it in the description below. You know, I cover a lot of this more so just to give you guys, uh, you know, a little bit of a safety net here to understand that these companies in most cases are not into it for your best interest they're into it because monthly membership passives are one of the best potential things to get in regards to you know trading or you know even in affiliate marketing the point being is that to end this video i just wanted to point out that you don't want a trade alert service you want something that's literally going to help you you know evolve and learn and actually do these trades by yourself you know if you're relying on an alert service whether it's warrior trading whether it's you know something else you know all of these different places whether even if they have financial statement proof they're not really necessarily teaching you they're trying to push their alert service so in the end you're going to end up with did you learn anything are you able to utilize that at a later date is that going to help you in the future for you know any reason so what happens if these websites simply disappear are you still going to be able to trade with or without them are you relying 100 percent on these alert services what happens in those scenarios is that you end up coming out with absolutely nothing you might spend you know months or years spending on these kind of services but in the end you will end up with pretty much nothing but thanks for listening in guys if you want any other videos just like this, make sure to comment below if you have your own input experiences on different trading alert services, so on and so forth. Make sure to leave that in the comments below. If you want other types of stuff like this, leave that in the comments below. Let me know. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're still listening and have a great day, guys.